Welcome everybody. I'm John Zadar, your host, and this is a special episode of On Top and Hot. Today we have with us Strikeforce Technologies, ticker SFOR. Strikeforce Technologies is a cybersecurity company that provides next-gen cyber privacy and data protection solutions for businesses and consumers in real time on every vulnerable point. And folks, that's the key point here. This is new technology. And with us today to tell us more about this is the CEO of Strikeforce Technology, Mr. Mark K. Hello, Mark. How are you? Hello, John. Nice to be here. Thank you for the intro. Oh, we're glad to have you. We're really excited about this and about your company. Now, I think it's fair to say that everybody understands that cybersecurity is important. But I think they fail to understand that it's more than just protecting data. It truly, truly is protecting people. And your company has got a suite of cyber security products that are, well, superior to all of your competitors added together. We could probably even say that you're leading uh, the industry with this technology. Can you please tell us more about this? Actually, I'd rather stop at that. That sounds great to me. <laughs> But, uh, we, 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 Thanks, I tried. That's okay. That's that's a good intro. We've been around for 20 years, literally. Wow. And we haven't quite got the sales going yet, but I do believe this is the year for us, as I've said in the beginning of the year. And we've hired four or five new salespeople. We actually mm -hmm. had them in this room. I had to kick them out in order to do this, so I feel bad. But uh, <laughs> Thanks. They're learning a lot and they've started selling today, making some good sales as well. So I feel really good. And then what are they, what are we doing? I mean, we're a cyber company. We never called ourselves a cyber company in the early days, but we really always were. Mm -hmm. And we do many different things. We, we've sold authentication products, I'd say for the past 17 years called protect ID, which we actually patented out of band authentication. And, and most people don't understand what a band is, but most people know that when they get their when they get their phone call and on the phones they see an email and they say yes or no, deny or allow or anything like it. Right. That's not that's typical out of band, and we are the inventors of out of band authentication. Wow! Until the court started screwing it up and, and didn't, didn't do much about it, but we actually made ten million dollars from one of the uh, deals we had done that took us over two years. So we definitely had the had the only first out of band authentication, but we did it before cell phones even existed fully. So it, it was kind of early. But anyway, so besides that, though, we then did mobile phones. We then did authentication. We do Android and Apple. We have a product called Guard ID that protects your Android and Apple from keystroke. Well, I'd say, excuse me, protects your keystrokes from being stolen on your computers. Right. So many people don't understand that the easiest way of of hacking somebody is through their keystrokes. And there's nothing you can do about it. You type on the computer, everything you type, somebody picks it up from the compute from the uh, core of the of the uh, computer itself. Mm -hmm. And we actually prevent them from doing that by with guard ID. As soon as you type on the keyboard, it takes the keys and goes around a different approach. And it's we hold them and do not go through the normal gateway of the computer, mm -hmm. and it cannot be found by anybody, and that really protects you. And we've actually sold, oh, we used to say about a million. Now I think it's over a million and a half, and probably more than two million. And it sells constantly. Every time we think we don't, nobody wants it, doesn't it? But we see that we had more sales <laughs> going out because we sell through so many different means. We sell right. through many companies and we sell, sure. we used to sell through intersections. There was their privacy protect product that they stopped selling because they just got out of the business mm. and that and intersection sold itself. We sold That's it for you. We sold it through many different companies. We sold it through some of the uh, malware vendors that are out there as well and still sell it through some uh, under different names. Right. Um, but it's always got ID. We sell it to the legal club constantly every month we get sales. So it, it's really a great steady product. We do update it continuously. We do get some calls. We, we deal with them. We respond to people properly. So that product continues on a, on a great path. Um, the other product we have that's like it is Privacy Lock, which works similar to Guard ID, but it also protects against your camera, your phones, your audio, your vi audio on your own computer. 
um, okay. which is a great problem these days. And again, it's it's further than guard ID because your camera can be sold many times. Your camera can be picked up on by somebody else who's up looking at you you through the camera video that's out there, and you don't even know what's happening. Right, and that's really scary. Um, yeah, I find in many cases, and I don't know if there's anything to it, but honestly, I can have a conversation with someone in my house about some topic, and that day, ads start showing up on my computer, and I wonder, I didn't type it in. How did they get that information? So, yeah, you know, yeah. I don't know if the audio has been turned on or not. How do I know? No, you don't know. That's the problem with it. And, and the biggest product we put out now was a safety chat, which is our secure video conferencing. And I do mean secure because none of the others are as secure as safety chat. Mm -hmm. So anyone who needs to be, make sure, and secure, what does secure mean? It means you don't get Zoom bombed, which is a term everybody knows now. Uh, when you're in a Zoom call, anybody can join it. If I got a Zoom path, path uh, a Zoom link, I could give it to anybody I want to and they can come on. Right. right with with our product, you can't. Everybody is only uh, has to be there if they're invited by the controller, by the person that sets up that meeting, right. creator, whatever you want to call it. We have our own meeting manager. Why? Because our video safety chat, which is the name of the product now, is built on top of a secure conference capability called Protect ID that we built 20, 18 years ago. Right. So that's first come on, on the agenda and then the safety check comes on top of that. So it's, it uses that heavily in terms of securing the individual and they can come on via a simple security like OTP, which can be automatically set up for the individual, or they can come on with a very secure video such as a bio it could be their face bio. We now accept face bio as a method and very hard for someone to, to cheat on that side of it. So it's up to the creator of the pro of the uh, safety chat of the video to determine what level of security they need. But right. typically, they need security. And the bio is not difficult to do. You can set up on your on your phones, on your cell phones now, on an Android or on a uh, Apple, and then your face bio can be part of getting into the conference. But the point is, you have to get in either that or a fingerprint or a one-time password, an out-of-band authentication on your phone that you could use, and all that works on our platform. And we're the only ones that have it. Why? Because we're the only ones that have Protect ID, and we had patented it, so nobody can do exactly what we did. Um, so that's why it's such a secure method, and we're starting to get the word out. And People think, well, they don't need it. It's okay. But yet they complain when they get Zoom bombed and somebody's undressing themselves on their own video because they can't control it. They have right. no control whatsoever on that kind of a deal. And that happens in the schools. So education is really upset over that. They've been sued at least twice, 85 million. And I think the other time is over 100 million. And wow. Zoom has been sued a couple of times because they can't prevent it because of building it as that kind of a product. So we feel it's very, very critical that we do it. And we do it at the same price of anybody else's a video conference. So, of course, we get frustrated that everybody isn't buying it, but we understand because we're not selling it as, as much as everybody else. So that's well, why you do have a very strong national campaign for advertising go going on right now between billboards, radio and TV. Isn't that right? That's very correct. And that's why we did it, because we had to get the word out. We had to get a word out countrywide any mm -hmm. way we can. We do it. We do it on the billboards and the subways because we heal, feel that's a very large capability and that's on there, right. I think right now. We do it on, the, I didn't even know these existed, they have the phone connection. So in the streets of Manhattan, you have a thing on the phone, you can stick your phone in to plug it in to keep it going so you can always have enough juice in it. Right, keep the charge up. And when you do that in all these stations around Manhattan, you could plug it in, but you have to watch the video because it's right there in front of your face and you're right. waiting. So we come on those videos now because right. we learned about that. And that's a great way to get out. So we do a lot of safety chat commercials. Matter of fact, there's a new one out there now on those devices. So we do a lot of that in New York, around the country. Uh, we use um, American Eagle as one of the best marketing companies out there. We hired them on board. We use Pinnacle as one of the best, uh, not Pinnacle, but Pipeline Zen as one of the best companies to get a sales. We have five salespeople now, not four, not three. We used to have one six months ago. 
So we're okay. going in all directions to hire and move as fast as we can. And we're starting to gain some progress. We even hired a guy who has a phenomenal Rolodex, a lot of connections on Wall Street, and he's making those connections for us. And he's getting some interest. And we're going out there and we're, we're, we're you know, we're, we're going and meeting them and talking to them. And of course, on Wall Street, you got to have some of the right wording and stuff. But I come from Wall Street. My background is 26 right. years at J.P. Morgan. I know most of the guys that he's even talking to. And you joke around and talk it through and you get it done. So we feel we have a large, large number of places we can still get to, talk to and get the product. You've expanded now internationally and into other sectors as well. The health sector, DeFi, which you just done here recently, which you sound pretty excited about. Yes. And, and we started the healthcare business first. That's the one where we work with pipelines in and got a lot of, we had at least these over 50, 60, 70 connections into them. And a number of them are trying our software out for free now. Mm -hmm. uh, we give them a month free to try it out. And many of them are doing it. And some of them are starting to convert. So we are starting to gain some, some presence in there. And we also just started in the legal field. Um, again, the good news is with, with video conferencing becoming so uh, such a big item in, in the world today, it's going to be the only way people are going to talk. They're not going to even call a video conference. They'll just say, well, I got to call X person X. Of course, I got to see them. How else can I call them? That's where, <laughs> that's where we're heading. There won't right. be any Absolutely. phone calls that don't have video. It'll be automatic. Pretty soon, you'll be able to see it in the air right in front of your face. Right, holograms. Now, you projected earlier uh, revenues of about $1.3 million. You sticking to those guns? You know what? I can't be sure of that, but I feel strong about that capability. I feel that, you know, with the hired salespeople we now have, we have mm -hmm. that opportunity to meet them. I just put out a PR today, I'd say about a few minutes ago, actually, mm -hmm. that talked about this new crypto company we got in bed with. It's called, and I can say it, it's called FCK Coin, and that's their website, fckcoin.com. Okay. You know, anybody can go out there and look, and they'll see that where it says they did their security, they did it with us, and we get 50% of all their revenues coming in. So we right. figured we'll give them the capability, we give them, and we give them these APIs now, which has become very strong for us. We'll, we see having three major products going forward. Not that we don't have God ID and it still works, and we'll keep it out there, but we're going to be focusing heavily on safety chat for the video conferencing, secure video conferencing, the only one of its kind, Right. We're, going to, we're going to be talking about privacy lock, which protects your computer from cameras, from void, from video, mm -hmm. which will actually be if, if Zoom users bought it for their computers, they would have a better Zoom conference. They wouldn't be able to, to get jumped into. They could still get anybody joining the Zoom conference because it's not us. Right. So anybody could join it. But once they join it, they can't see their cameras or things like that. If they don't want to allow it, they could turn it off at the last second. Um and it tells them if they're doing anything illegally, but they could be using it for Zoom, they could be using it for WebEx, any of them. Um, right. but, but that's a great, great tool. And then the third, and then we have a standard and a premium. The premium does protect your camera and your voice and all those things. The standard is just plain video conferencing. Um, then we have the third product, which we're gonna come up with a name for it. We don't have yet. It's called the APIs for safety chat. So we have two clients coming on board one within a week or two, to be honest, and mm -hmm. then the other one uh, we're talking to, I can't even say anything about that. So the one that's coming on in a week or two is going to be um, the one that we've been talking to for many, for over a year or so, but we've been slow or they've been slow. We gave them everything they needed months ago. They're just now getting done. Uh, we're finishing the product. We're putting it in, in production for them. Um, so they should start being able to use it. They probably will remain nameless, but their clients are huge and people will know who they are when they're out there, I'm sure, and we'll be able to tell them. But anyway, but uh, that's big, but it's using our API. So what is it? it the API for Safety Chat means you don't have to go into safetychat.com. You'll go into their product that they're selling. So they're, they're not a company that sells products. They're like a managing company. They just okay. manage, they manage a product for a company. And the company, let's say, wants to buy, sell their boats or their cars or whatever they're selling, mm -hmm. they can have, they're going to have the process where the sales guy works through it, and then it, then they can say, well, look, I want to show you what I'm, what what the item looks like. They can hit this, they can hit their 
their application, which automatically can go to a, a safety chat type setup, even though I won't say that. Um, so we can they can go to the, the web, the uh, safety chat stuff whenever they want to within their own application. Right. And, the, and they can do it anytime they want as part of the API. Now, it's got to have a lot of security in it because it is a secure capability. Um, but they have that security in it. We built it. It took us a long time to build the APIs, uh, but it works very, very well, as well as the web, as well as this, or as well as the web conferences we end up doing typically. Um, so we feel that's going to be a very strong capability. And we're going to have that as a product by itself. So we'll have one of our salespeople going out there and selling it anywhere and everywhere. And we think, look, right. as a matter of fact, this client, we talked about trying to get uh, Zoom and WebEx and others to provide it to them, and they said no. So they didn't want to. They didn't want to stop and build the, this API for them because it's a lot of work. It's a lot of freaking work. <laughs> and, so, trust me, and since we built it ourselves and have the capability and the people, we understand it took us over a year to build these, um, but it was worthwhile building, and it's now it's going to go in production within the next couple of weeks. Um, and, and then people will see it and understand it without even knowing who the client is necessarily. So we feel very strong about that. And that'll be the third product of the of our safety chat um, conference capabilities. So we feel now, very good. Now, in your press release, you had mentioned that you were interested in trying to get this as a standard thing across the networks just for everybody, not just something that you were doing. Is there a way to actually get that to happen? Well, again, we, we, we did this white paper with our analytic company called ATI, um, and they wrote the white paper, and it talked about how video conferencing is becoming a norm. It's becoming the way of doing the future. And by the way, people, we should be putting security around it. And if you have security, you have to have standards, and you have to have guidelines that you must meet in order to have it. And most people agree. Uh, and no security conferences out there today have many of them met. Uh, because they never thought about that. They just thought it was a tool to play with, have some fun. Sure. Well, it's not so much fun anymore when they're getting Zoom bombed and, and people joining into them. And it'll be the only way people are going to make a phone call in the future anyway. It's not that far off. I, I feel strongly. And Google is putting out all these these notes saying there's going to be over 50 million to 100 million in the future. And then growing and growing. It'll be everything. We'll right. look back at this and we'll laugh at ourselves. <laughs> so we're, we want to take advantage of that. And we want to be ready now. Um, and we'll definitely be the only way to do it in a secure manner. So this paper is out there. We do talk about our four guidelines of how to do video conferencing properly. And by the way, we don't do all of them right now. But we're building some of them in order to complete them. Sure. And we feel and we're going to be we're talking with our PR firm, American Eagle, all the other companies we're working with, and connections in the government we have that we're talking to now. We feel strongly that we're going, we're going to congressmen, we're going to senators today. We're getting a hold of individuals to get them to buy into this direction, buy into this standard that we need all need as the future of building this secure, safe right. type video. Now, I would be remiss if I didn't ask a couple of questions that investors always want to know. No, yeah. no, and no. <laughs> Those are the answers. That's what we want to hear. Typically, Let's just put them on the table anyways. Do you have any plans for a reverse flip? No. I like that answer. Do you plan on getting up to the NASDAQ anytime soon? Yes, but not until we can do it naturally. We're not looking to do anything we can to get there. That's not the, our number one priority. We hope to get there at some point. We feel sales could move us there. Maybe not enough. Maybe it will be. Uh, but we're not putting that in front of everything else. That's for sure. All right. Those are the two that are most prevalently asked. Everybody wants to know. I, I agree. And you said, they do normally go hand in hand. And they ask me a thousand times, so it doesn't even matter that we're saying it now. But uh, <laughs> I do believe strongly in what I said. And people have heard me say it hundreds of times to them let alone to anybody else that emails me. And they all do. And that's fine. Now, I read one comment that you made that I would like to read right now because I found it very inspiring. The confidence uh -oh. was just brimming off of this comment. I'm in trouble. <laughs> this came out January 18th. It was your business update for 2022. And I quote, 
To say that Strike Force is undergoing a business transformation that will reshape our future and propel sales and increase shareholder value is an understatement. We have a killer strategy for 2022. We have products exploding market opportunity and the monies to promote our products and services to achieve our revenue projections and then some. This coming year is going to be epic for Strike Force. Still feel that way? It's very true. Oh, definitely. definitely. I do too. I think you've got the bull by the horns. I honestly think cybersecurity companies are the dark horses right now. I think they are going to become primary companies and where our current affairs are in the world. We are moving into that. Before they send bombs or planes over here, they're going to send hacking and invasions with cybersecurity. So I think you guys are going to be the forefront, you know, for the next right. Cold War, if you will. And people are worried so much about the fighting in Ukraine, which I feel very bad about. I mm -hmm. don't think it should happen at this point. But... Russia is doing a lot more than that, and, and they're not telling us. There's a lot being done in cybersecurity. Trust me, I'm seeing all these these facts, these actually facts, facts as FAXs coming to me that are fake. All of them, and I know this stuff, so obviously I deleted them right away, but some people are probably responding to them or wondering, gee, I got a fax, what is that? I don't understand it. And as soon as they do that, they're done. Um, but a lot of that is out there now, and a lot of that's going on. And I believe more strongly now than ever, that's the truest statement I could have ever made uh, because I believe that we are going to be doing all that. We do have a lot of money right now. We are able to spend it on all these types of advertising. They don't come cheap, that's for sure. No, no. And we're doing more of it and all this hiring we're doing. And, and it's starting to come into some sales that we see as being a huge opportunity. And I think we have a fantastic capability of getting there and hopefully we will. I do too. I, I honestly think you've got a dynamite product. Your technology is advanced. You're out there. I think you're a leader in the world right now. And it is going to become a primary focus, cyber security. And when you're a leader in the industry, where's everybody going to run? You're going to become a common name as far as I'm concerned. And in my personal opinion, Mark, I think your 1.3 million estimate is low. I think you're going to finally get yourself a, a strong tailwind that is just going to push you guys forward. Is there anything we didn't cover that you would like the investors and the viewers to know? Well, the only thing we didn't cover is my selling you safety chat so you could use it. Obviously, if it's our best product and you're in this business, you should be trying it out for free and we'd be glad to give you a copy to play with. But that's, that's, I'll take I, you up on that. Absolutely. Okay. I got nothing against security. Right, so not I, that I can imagine anybody wants to hack me, but that's not the point. You'd be surprised. They, they, <laughs> yes. they want to hack everybody because they never know what they can find. But uh, it, it would be behoove me not to have to mention it to you because everyone I ever talk to, I, I try to sell it. Um, <laughs> Good for you. That's salesmanship. That's what we like yeah, to well, do. It's the best product out there. I can't not sell it. I, I believe in it strongly. Um, but, and, I, and I believe in all of our products, not just that, but that's our biggest product. That's our focus now. You know, we're going through a lot of changes in the company right now. We're adding more people. We're buying new furniture for us because we're tired <laughs> of this rinky dink wood stuff. That's not quite wood. That's over 21 years old. Ikea. Um, <laughs> but we're staying in the same place. No matter how squinch we get, uh, I think it'll work for us well. And, you know, who knows, you know, we'll change our name, maybe. I mean, we're, we're changing our whole focus. Our website will be changing. It'll take a long time, but we're looking to change everything we're doing to be focused on safety chat and all the capabilities that we have within it. I think the market is yours for the grabbing. I can see you're growing. Your team is growing. We can expect nothing but growth out of this company. I think you're in the right place at the right time with the best product. Folks, if you need any more information about this company, just go to their website, strikeforcetech.com. And you can, I'm sure, write the CEO if they have questions. Yes? Whether I like it or not, yes, definitely. <laughs> but yes, they can. Any time of day and over the weekend, I respond pretty quickly. Very good. Mark, we certainly appreciate your time today. You've given us a lot of great information, a lot of hope, and I truly, honestly believe in your company. And just so everybody knows, this was done out of the kindness of my heart because I like this company. I was not paid or endorsed to do this. This is just a good product, a good company that is going places, and you should be paying attention to it now. Thank you, Mark. Hope you have a great day.
Thank you, John. I appreciate it. Take care. Bye bye. Cyber attacks are a global threat affecting consumers and companies. Whether you're using your computer or mobile device to bank, shop, or work remotely, your privacy and corporate data are at risk. For over 20 years, Strikeforce Technologies has developed some of the world's leading cybersecurity solutions. Millions of users around the world have put their trust in us to protect what matters most. Your privacy and data are your business. Protecting it is ours. Visit StrikeforceTech.com today.